Hi, good morning, sir. Uh, uh, my name is Udhar Sampat. My student ID is S150 63663. Uh, today I'm delivering a presentation about investigation uh, conduct on uh, Metro by Un State University harassment scenario. Um, so without a wasting any second uh, let's uh, let's uh, get the clear understanding uh, of the relevant case uh, so here the, the case is um, uh, Lily Tuckridge uh, is a chemistry teacher at uh, Neetroba State University and uh, she has been receiving uh, harassment email in her personal email then uh, she suspect that ha these harassment emails were sent by one of her students in order to identify this uh, person she has contacted uh, the IT support or support team of the Nitroba State University uh, after that, uh, an investigator assigned to this case and uh, Lily has provided the all screenshot of her uh, email uh, which she received uh, upon request by investigator. So here's the screenshot of uh, the Lily Tuckridge provided to the investigator. Um, uh, it contained that that harassment email which Lily has received and the email, email header information relevant to the harassment email which contain some hate messages to the teacher uh, to the Lily and uh, her teaching way uh, after the investigator has analyzed the email header information and discover a public IP address which maps the Nitrob, Nitrob's dorm room. So, so who's using the dorm room? The, according to university, the management management it was shared by three women named Alice, Barbara, and Candice. Uh, according to them. The recently Barbara's boyfriend Kenny has installed a Wi-Fi router in their dorm room. Uh, since the public IP address is pointed out to the dorm room, uh, we cannot only suspect these four persons because the, in this router there is no password. So anyone who is nearby can connect to the router. Since uh, there's no more additional information was extract from email headers, investigator implement a sniffer on the dorm room, dorm room network and uh, waited the attacker's next message. After a few hours, the attacker sent another email to the Lily and uh, then the investigator captured the network traffic until the harassment message here is you can see the email received from the attacker and it has been deleted itself after within the email after four seconds uh, let's talk about actors now in this case obviously the victim is the chemistry teacher named Lily Tuckridge sorry there are no key other witnesses found regarding to this action so in this case possible suspects are the one uh, one who's used the dorm room and according to Lily Tuckridge uh, she suspect it was from one of her students So before analysis in order to protect original evidence from the modification and alternation, the investigator has produ produced exact copies of network capture 
and verified their name with a hash value. After that, he has started analyzing on the coffee of network. During the analysis, he was able to identify that previously identified public address translated to the private IP address of uh, 192.168.15.4. In the image slide, you can see the filtered uh, filtered IP address which deal in the public address. Again, uh, during this analysis investigator able to identify this I private IP address issued to the Apple device. After that, investigator search for any packet that include the keyword Lily. Then he was able to extract the harassment message uh, sent by attacker and this message sent from previously identified Apple devices and the private IP address. After the investigator did some uh, additional research. Uh, he was able to were able to identify that some of the users in the dorm room has logged into the Gmail app services and their username was uh, stored in cookies. Then the packet contained the username has an exact match for previously identified private IP address and the Apple device which has uh, the same MAC address. This username was uh, an email address and it has it is uh, jcoj at gmail.com so here's the in here in you can see the evidence that uh, jcoj gmail.com email address has completely matches for the previously identified harassment message components According to the findings, we can state that the harassment email was sent by the uh, person who owned the jcoj at gmail.com email address. Uh, so, in order to identify the subject, subset, suspect, investigator has compared the pattern of the suspect list and uh, Johnny Coach was the closest to the pattern. So here's here you can see the similarity between uh, email address and the, their name. So, so as a summary of the investigation, uh, this is uh, this is a harassment message was uh, sent by an Apple device which issued the IP address of one ninety two one sixty eight one. 5.4 and the same person has logged into the gmail uh, to use this router using this router by doing that username was in was stored in cookies and the email pattern was most close to the johnny coach as a suspect name in order to identify that johnny coach is the wrong door investigator sus suggest to the compared the identified MAC address with his Apple device. Uh, this is the reference I use in, uh, in the, this presentation and the, the final report I already submitted to you and thank you sir.